Good morning! Good morning everyone, we are shooting a Lancia LC2, uh, martini liveried, martini liveried, did I say that right? Martini liveried, and it is a machine, it is the last one ever built, and it's just, I mean, I've seen only a picture of it, uh, but yeah, it looks awesome. We just got pictures today, and uh, the car can't be run either sadly, because this thing would wake up hell, but so yeah, sadly we can't uh, start it. I'm bringing the drone, bringing the flash as well, just because we've got really nice low uh, sunlight, because it's winter still. I think we're going to have to fill in some of the shadow uh, to really show the shape of this car. The drone will be for the overhead shot uh, only really, I just want to get that awesome shape that usually you can only get in the studio, but uh, I think we better get it on site today. Let's get there, do a little montage. It probably won't be that long because obviously I'm still learning this vlog stuff, but uh, I want to bring much more content. Well, I actually want to bring some vlog video content this year. Let me know like what you think of each one and how I can improve it or add, add some value to you guys. That'd be wicked to just get a little community going. Like, you can ask me questions or whatever about what I'm doing or about the car or why I'm doing something, why I'm dancing behind the camera, whatever. Ask it and I'll answer it. I'm going to get up to Oxford where the car is and let the shoe begin. shooting our driveway because we have to keep giving way to uh, delivery trucks. I want to get it bang on in the road now for the drone shot. A little bit more left, a little nudge. Right, okay, so if we stop there. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, whilst Pierre is warming up the drone battery because it's too cold to take off, I thought I would, well, introduce what we're doing today. I need to make myself look sexy first before I can do that. Impossible. The sun is out, the light is nice. We're, it's the winter mornings uh, with the nice low light and I'm about to uh, do a drone shot. We've just been shooting the front and rear three courses uh, on this driveway. It'll come out really nice, especially with the light flares and stuff. So we're gonna get a dead on of this Lancia. LC2 um, because I think it will look really sick. Mm. Never on. seen one of these in the flesh before and it's everything you can really imagine. It's been well used as well which I like. You've got the old yellow PPF and the uh, little stone chips from being raced all of its life instead of kept in the collection which I think is really cool. Some people may disagree but these things are meant to be raced right? I'll show you how deep these are. <laughs> So Phantom owners, and well DJI owners in general, will realise that you have to keep the battery like under your scrotum or armpit to warm it up in the winter months because they just don't like to fly when they're a bit too cold. So what I got Peter to do is, uh, yeah. Pierre, sorry, Pierre, oh. is to put it under his well armpit basically. Is it sufficiently warm do you think? It, I, I think if we get ready. It's ready to rot, it's not going to get freezing cold straight away. If it's warm enough then uh, we're good to go. Right. Phantom 4, trusty Phantom 4. Trust. 
let me spit some facts at you about this particular LC2. It's got a purpose built Ferrari V8 turbo, capable of 800 brake horsepower. This particular LC2 was the last one ever built for the Martini Racing Team. Double podium finisher, double pole sitter, and three times fastest lap setter. And that was only in three events. This particular LC2, chassis 0007, was enhanced a bit for the 1986 season as well. Sported wider, deep Venturi tunnels at the back, and then they also increased the track at the front by 30 mil. The engine was also breathed on, which had an extra 40 brake horsepower. Arguably most important was that they shaved it by 20 kg, so it was 850 in total just to meet the 1986 regulations. This thing weighs 850 kg, what? All of these little tweaks meant that the next time this LC2 went out, it beat the nearest 962 Porsche by two seconds, but sadly didn't win the actual race, even though it set the fastest lap. Welcome. Trash passing kids. Gets the job done. Hashtag galloping Geddon. Hashtag trash pot. Anything for the shop. <laughs>